What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the video. So as you guys can see, Ford engine torn apart. Already got it um, honed. Done all that myself at the house. Got it power washed. Um, yeah, getting ready for assembly. I still have to um, mask it off and get it taped up. Um, the aluminum is still in good condition, to be honest with you. But knowing me, man, I, I want to... The little detail counts, um, even though... A bunch of wiring all that will be covered over it in the engine bay you won't be able to see it I guess but um that's I just want to put a little bit of effort into this car um let's talk a little guys uh, I won't go too much on a tyrant but um what's going on in the world today as far as we know with the whole coronavirus situation a lot of people have been put out especially in the uh, in the hospitality industry restaurants hotels um, it's crazy guys um, here in Arkansas specifically in Jonesboro the case has risen yesterday it was in the low 90s now today it's in a high mid uh, hundreds so it's crazy as the days goes by people getting tested um, so I'm sure you've heard this from your favorite youtuber you know stay safe um, I know, like I said, a lot of people have been put out, especially with their jobs, having to stay home and watch their kids. I haven't been affected yet. People say it's coming. Um, not much I can do, man, but just stay put. Um, how, how, how hard life can hit, you know what I'm saying? At this point, it's death, you know what I'm saying? I, I, a lot of people say I come off negative, but I just come off real. So even if it comes out good, uh, you know, I'm just mentally prepared. You know, it is what it is. You know, what what can we do? Um, I'm sure a lot of people feel like the the media is blowing it out of proportion, but I don't know. At the same time, certain things in life, if it doesn't affect us, it's not too much of a big deal. You know, only till it happens to us, then you know we're either panicking or you know it's too late. It is what it is. So who knows? Yes, maybe the social media, social media, or just media in general, just blowing it out of proportion. But how it is in Italy, it's crazy. Um, and like I said here, the cases just it just keep going up. So we are not on a quarantine watch yet. As some of the bigger cities like California and all that, New York, um, people are still going day to day. But like I said, a few business is either closed or has restrictions on it so let me know how it affecting you guys man and you know just stay put hopefully all this is over and everything goes back to normal and the economy doesn't take a big shit but like i said i'm sure a lot of people are again affected from it and benefiting from it <laughs> um financially so um yeah for me i'm just gonna play by ear I uh, just want to get this short block. The main goal is just to get this short block assembled. But as far as spending money and car parts and all that, I've I have as much as I can just to get the short block assembled. So here is Clevite Molly bearings, um, en engine tech piston rings, and um, that's pretty much it. Mostly just to get this shit assembled. Um, when I get this assembled, I'm just gonna play by ear. Um, Import Alliance got pushed back, so I'm not in a rush to get that car up and running. And besides, I'm supposed to get some parts powder co uh, ceramic coated, which is so expensive. It's it's a general price for it, but for right now, I'm just trying to play by ear. I wish we had someone local that do all that stuff, you know. But you know, um, powder coating is done locally here, and I, I I have someone who did my intake manifold, but. To pay money to get it shipped to, uh, you know, a guy who does it for me. It's just too much right now. So, I'm just going to put that on the back burner and just try to focus on just getting this assembled. And when this whole coronavirus shit passes by, you know, hopefully things go back to normal. So, um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of things that I found different with the um, Ford and the Mazda platform. Now, the reason why I'm doing this... Um, I really want to stick with my speed block. I still haven't gotten it from the machine shop. Two things I don't like. One, found out that it had ringland failure, scored the block bad. 
Um, they want to mess with that, which I took it to the machine shop. They said they could hone it. Haven't gotten it back since. Haven't heard anything from them. So I'm guessing that's a sign. Two, this is where the AC compressor is located. And on my speed block, trying to get the bolts out, and they nearly all of them snapped off. That's something I really want to do right now as well. So that's where the idea came about, just doing the 2.3 or the 2.5 swap. Now, I'm not taking any praise for this. Um, I'm no way a uh, Mazda professional or a Focus SD or whatever you want to melt. MZR, DuraTech professional. I love the platform, but there's no way, no way I'm trying to come off as a professional or first time ever doing this in the world. I'm sure this has been done before. Matter of fact, there's a guy who's doing a 2.5. He sounds a lot knowledgeable in the field. So you guys can just type that in, Mod Speed 3 2.5, um, and you should see his videos pop up. And if you guys have questions and you want to do this, which I think is, is a lot cheaper route than trying to find a MZR engine, an L3K9, which they, they're not cheap, I think this is a cheaper route. The only reason why I'm tearing this apart, even though it had high mileage, I'm just going to play around with some clearances, especially for my piston ring. And the power goal for this for me is 450. Um, 450, 475 the most. I think the internals, which I'm going to show you just now for the piston and rods that came out of this block, can hold that power. But we will see as time so goes. So, from the block. So, everything is pretty much the same as uh, Mazda Speed. Not sure on the 1.6 Focus Fiesta. Um, that's it's a little bit different, especially on the timing side. Cause it's a timing belt setup, but I think as far as uh, you know, Mod Speed Three, Mod Speed Six, CX Seven, um, Ford Focus ST. Not sure about the EcoBoost um, Mustang. Mustang. Um, I think the Lincoln came with this engine as well, um, two liter. But let's just stay simple and what i have here compared to my speed block so the speed three everything is pretty much the same thermostat location i think this came this is a hose outlet to the head um i'm sure it's a heater setup um i tore everything apart don't remember i'm sure i'll remember you know everything will come back to mind i have pictures and all that um main thing though the head fits the head works so if i choose to use head studs that's an option i'm going to use um Mazda Speed head gasket, but the head fits. So that's the main thing. Um, so thermostat, this is the PCV setup. Um, I plan on running a Damon or a full race so I can run a catch can setup. Simplify some of those vacuum lines in the car. Um, here, front freeze plug, same location. AC compressor goes right in the same location. Um, knock sensor location right here which I'll be using the, the Mazda Speed down here is a fuel filter flange housing it's the same however um, this car never came stock with an oil cooler however you use the same canister style shitty setup as the first gen Mazda Speed 3 and Speed 6 so I plan on changing it to a spin oil type and I think I can bolt my oil cooler onto that housing so because it's crazy i've looked online and a speed three second gen setup is damn near 400 dollars for a fucking oil filter <laughs> it's crazy but i think on edge uh motorsports uh, i think that's what the website called they spell they sell speed parts um they have the housing and i think i can bolt my oil cooler on the top now this block doesn't come with oil feed nor oil drain as a L3K9 setup so I'll have to run a sandwich plate for my oil filter with a 1H MPT sorry, <laughs> um, fitting which I'll be running all AN lines um, just like I did with my Civic SI and definitely I'm going to run a oil pressure gauge so definitely that's a must, an oil pressure gauge and um, that's where I'll be getting my oil feed. 
So let's turn around to the side timing. Yeah. So here is the water pump location. Um, not sure if there's any difference, which to be honest with you, man, I doubt it. These cars are mass produced. So um, again, I may be wrong. And you know, no way I'm trying to come off as hitting the platform. But you know, these cars, Hondas, Toyotas, all of them are mass produced. So I'm sure smaller things are, uh, are the same, you know, interchangeable. But to me, it looks the same. I have both, and they look the same. But as far as internally, I'm not sure. The same with the oil pump. I'm not sure they all look the same. But as far as internally, I'm not sure if you know they're different. So time and components, I'll be running um, all speed um, parts. The timing chain tensioner is different, which I can show you guys here in a minute. Um, but I'm just going to use the timing tensioner from the speed. So, um, guide chain on the lower end here on the on the on the girdle, which is crazy because it doesn't have the support for the oil guide chain. However, it has the the holes. So this never came on a lower oil guide um, support. On the speed, it does. Crazy enough, like I said, on the girdle, it has those bolts. So I'm sure I can use my lower girdle, um, my lower, sorry, oil guide on this setup. So let me show you guys the, um, the tensioners real quick. Okay, so here I have the one from the speed and the one that came with this Ford motor. Um, as you can see, the mechanism to hold, to push this back and hold in place is here. And the one on the speed is, is pretty, it's, it's a small ratcheting mechanism. So when you hold back on it, you're able to push this back and use a pin and hold it in place. Um, this has two oil holes and this only has one. But as far as the mounting bolts and the mounting location, it's it's the same. So let's move to the to the rear. back of the. Um, everything is the same except for not having the um, oil feed and drain. You have your coolant plug on the side. You have your freeze plug on the rear. Um, well, three things. There's supposed to be an extra bolt, I think, to help support the weight of the turbo which I think this only has one thing on the speed it has two which I'm not going to be using any of those so that wouldn't affect me alternator sits back here you have your timing reference peg and if that's the term I can call it but that hits up on the back of the counterweight to locate TDC on number one piston um, so like I said, it doesn't have the oil drain, neither the feed. I think the drain sits somewhere here on the speed block and the feed sits somewhere over here. So like I said earlier, I will have to get the oil feed from that filter location and I'll be tapping my oil pan, which I'll show you guys the difference between both. Um, I'll be tapping the oil drain on the pan. Now, intermediate shaft setup, it, the speed three um, intermediate shaft works perfectly on this. I thought it wouldn't work because for some reason um, now on these automatics, I'm not sure if it's the same on the Ford Fusion manual transmission version, but it only has a two bolt intermediate shaft setup and the intermediate shaft is real small versus on the speed, it's a three bolt setup. And as you can see in this photo right here, um, it's beefier. So I thought I could have swapped over the, um, I guess you want to call it the, I can call it the carrier bearing that holds the shaft itself. But obviously, since the speed is so big, it won't work. So I was like, okay, this whole shit's a flop. So how am I going to get the intermediate shaft to bolt? So on the, um, when I was tearing it apart at the junkyard, mainly this one here, it was blocked up. And it had the wiring harness, it had a clip that held the wiring harness in, harness in place. So what I had to do was, I tried to pry it out, it wouldn't come out. So someone told me to turn it like a bolt, and come to find out they had threads inside of it. 
So yes, I'll be able to use my um, intermediate shaft. So it's a like I said, it's a three bolt setup. So one, two, and three. So all that works. So let's move on to the oil pan. Let me show you guys. Okay, so we have both oil pans. So Mazda Speed, Ford, the um, windage trays, um, or baffle plates, whatever you want to call it. The one on the speed is bigger. On the left hand side, on the right, they look like the same. Um, the capacity is bigger on the speed. Sure you guys can see that difference. Sorry about the light, the overexposure. Um, I need it because it's DSLRs isn't good on low light. But um, yeah, so it has a bigger oil capacity. Um, the main reason why I definitely have to use this oil pan. I'm sure you guys already know this, but um, the dipstick location is located here on the oil pan for the speeds on the Fords or the non turbocharged. Um, Duratec versions um, it's located in the valve cover now I've never seen a focus obviously we didn't get the first generation focus RS in the United States that was only a Europe built car that came with a 2.5 turbocharged Duratec and I'm sure it's the same so because from what I if my research is correct Mazda or the Mazda Speed was the first to have in the world directed injection setup and I think Toyota and a, a bunch of other companies you know came after but I think that Focus RS never came direct injected I think it's just a regular 2.5 or a 2.5 setup with beefier internals um, again you Ford Mazda professionals can probably call me out on that so that's the reason why I definitely have to run this oil pan but like I said with the drain setup I have a 10 a.m. fitting here, which I'm not going to use. I have a bunch of these, I guess, I have left back from the Civic SI build. And as high as I can go, I've pretty much already picked my location. I'm going to do this. I'm going to choose right here. I'm probably going to get a 45 instead of a, which I have here, a 90. So, you know, if I don't run into any clearance issues or whichever turbo setup I choose to go with, um, especially not hitting into the intermediate shaft I won't have an issue but the guy in that video and like I said he's, he's more professional at this than I am um, he's using a barb fitting I'm sure it's just for cost um, purposes and he just tightened it down with some worm clamps but I'm, I just prefer I know a lot of folks say these and fittings are expensive but um, I'm gonna be real with y'all on my Civic SI all my fuel fittings are actually these. The only problem with these feet, cheap fittings, which I don't like, they fray in the expensive one. Here I have still left back, which I probably will be using on this car. Here is a 10 AN, which is my oil drain, and it doesn't leak. So my fuel lines don't leak, and these AN fittings, I have, haven't had a situation where any of them leak. Now I'm running. A combination between Frogola fittings, which are expensive, and eBay fittings, and none of them. I just, I just did it. I could have bought all expensive fittings because at the time, you know, money was coming in, and um, but I just wanted to see, okay, what's, you know, am I gonna lose out much? And like I said, these eBay fittings, Amazon fittings, they haven't leaked yet. Now, that's a case by case situation. What works for Peter may not work for Paul. You know what I'm saying? Um, but for me, I've had no issues, so these are pretty cheap. So I'm just going to go with a bomb fitting, either take it to my local machine shop, have them weld it for me, or get one of those, um, you can tap it and then screw it on the back side so it won't leak type fittings from Vibrant, but we'll see as, as this build progresses. So let me move on to the um, piston and rods, show the difference between so those. You, guys, you can see here. And boat rods, you can tell how beefy the ones for the Mazda. And I won't knock this one yet, like I said. And I'm pretty optimistic, I guess. But I'm sure I can get at least 475, 450, minimum 350 out of these rods. The purpose for me in this car, I ain't trying to go World Cup Finals. I ain't trying to go Texas 2K21. Um, one, I just want the car done. It put a smile on my face just to see 
this Mazda Speed back up on the road. Hopefully someone can enjoy it, commute, daily, um, daily drive, road trips. So, um, not my type of platform if I want to go crazy. I'm just saying. Um, or chassis of choice. Um, these cars have great potential. I've never driven a Speed 3, but I've said this in one of my videos before when I introduced this car, I've owned a Mazda Speed 6 and that was a fun car even though it had its problems. Anything hatchback I've driven in the same platform is a, I've driven a 2014 Focus ST and that was way back so um, that was a fun car as well, pretty plush but it sitting in this car even though I've never driven it before um, the Mazda I think I get a raw, a more raw experience than the Ford but with this car, man, I'm, I'm not trying to break any records. You know, I just want the car back up and running. So I think sticking with these stock internals is going to be just fine for what my um, my goals are. Now, knowing me, I want to build this car so bad. I want to go all out. But right now, it's it's just fine. I, I got to discipline myself. I got to say somewhere I got to stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, if I was a big YouTuber and I can of its companies to sponsor this and they will benefit from it um, you know I wouldn't mind but it, it, it comes to a point that I gotta say okay stop so you know after going off on that tyrant the rods are pretty much I think they're okay I think they'll hold some power but you know as you can tell here the, the miles are they're pretty beefy now I've seen companies market parts for these and make it sound like they're interchangeable um, specifically with the rods as well I don't think you can use speed 3 bearings on this obviously with the bigger journal on the big end the bearings are a lot wider um, these bearings have tangs I'm sure you guys know what those are these are tangless so the direction doesn't matter um, the rod bolts are bigger they have the same E12 as far as the socket head but these are bigger than the Ford, so I don't see how you can swap them over. Um, small end, the piston pin is small on the Ford. Um, unfortunately, this is a press fit, which I guess it won't be a problem to most guys if you have a press. Get these bitches out. These are um, floating type, so you just take that clip out. Be careful for not and not flying somewhere you can't find it and going to Neverland but I like this setup because you can just take these off and do whatever you want uh, without needing a press um, as far as the piston design up top they have that one relief for the intake the two reliefs at the front same on this you know so I think the compression is the same 971 um, same bore 87.5 not sure the stroke is the same but um which I, I'm sure it is so yeah that's pretty much a difference with the pistons before I continue um the oil pump going back to the pan the oil pump pickup tube which let me show you guys here yeah, I'm real quick. Say with staying with um, the Mazda oil pump and pickup tube not seeing too much of a difference here as far as the length going to the pan but as far as the thickness this is the one for the um, Mazda and it look as you guys can see here I know my camera quality is not the best but as you guys can see here it's definitely bigger so I'm gonna stick with the um, pickup tube for the uh, Mazda let's move on to the crankshaft family okay, so book crankshafts here on the top Mazda Speed on the bottom Ford Fusion um, as you guys can tell by the similarity, they both have the ring for the balance shaft, which is sitting right over here. Not sure if they're different internally, but I'm sure the principle is the same. So if I, I try, if I choose to do a balance shaft delete, um, that's an option. Um, on the counters, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's the correct terminology to use, but I don't want to say this is a partial full countered crankshaft. Because, for example, a K28 3 is a partially counter crankshaft. On a K20 Z3 or K28 2, it's a fully balanced crankshaft. On the speed here, the counters, they line up together. On this, it's 
it's kind of offset. So I guess you can say the one for the four for the Mars is properly balanced. You can tell from these two counters right here versus this. Um, they're kind of shaped different, you know. So I did try to put the um, the Mazda crank inside the block for the Ford, and it fits. However, I'm not sure if it's the bearing clearance is different, which I highly doubt is that much different. But the girdle, I think the girdle setup is a little bit different. Um, this is why I say that because the way how the the counters are different um, when I spin it it hits the girdle for the Ford so I don't know all this is hypothetical speaking so maybe if I had my Ford uh, my Mazda speed um, girdle I could try and see if it fit and spins but um, yeah it won't spin so but it, at the same time it defeat the purpose of what I'm trying to do here um, but I guess that would have been an option I can use all speed internals inside of the Ford block but again I don't really want to do that even if it worked you know it would defeat the purpose of what I'm trying to experiment with this setup um, this came out of an automatic car so I need to get a, um, a pilot bearing which are all are the same I've already checked that the crank bolt is the same as the Mazda this is actually my Mazda crank bolt so that's not an issue so I can use that or if I want to use the ARP style crank bolt, I can do so. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I know this video is probably long. From here to the end, like I always say, man, much love and respect. So with this build, um, just want to get that short block assembled, clean up looking good. And uh, with this whole COVID-19, just hopefully the whole world as a whole can just go past, you know, just past this whole situation. Um, I'm sure the economy is taking a hit but like I said folks are probably feeling the brunt from it or gaining a lot of money from it so there's both sides to, to the spectrum but let's see how it works man let's see how it all plays out and you guys stay safe and um, you know just keep washing your hands and doing all the necessary things you're supposed to do but I think we I think we get past it you know world so let's stay strong so stay safe peace much love, respect.